Hey guys, Four Spinner back here. Welcome back to another video. This is the unboxing of the fan that I got on eBay. Are you guys ready to see it? If you don't already know, you're about to know what it is. I covered up the postal address and stuff because, you know, peeps are creeps. Don't want that out there. But it's okay. Uh, oh shit. At least she cares. To have packaged it really well. These are my car key to... Hold on. i get my utility box cutter. Here we are. I want to be careful when you're opening this. This is a fan from like the 70s and 80s. I believe this model may, so... I've always wanted this fan my whole life. I'm almost convinced we had one a long time ago, just like this, but... I don't know, that could have just been the one I was looking at on the, the old com home computer way back when. Oh man, I'm getting excited, man. Alright. Oh. Oh. Holy shit, it's big. This fan This is a Gyro Air box fan. And this is this I believe this is the model, the fire hazard model honestly, but you know what? That's one of its quirky features about it that I like. In a way. It's not gonna be like an overnight fan to leave on over. Man, this thing is really big. I didn't know it was this big. This is cool. I like it. Um, she was nice enough to package a screw for me. Quite nice of her. I won't disclose her name for privacy reasons, of course. But holy freaking crap, man! Look at this. This is so freaking cool. You have no idea. I've wanted this fan literally my entire life, and now I have it. I worked hard for this fan. <sighs> wow. Look at this thing. And I, I, what I love most about it is the grill. It rotates. So when it's on, yeah. Pull the grill out and it rotates. Then you push it back in and it stops. Let's get the little speed dial. This is what causes the fire right here. This is what overheats. It's a switch. Um, shit. All right. Take a look at the back too. Then we're gonna turn it on. Start it up. It's got some amber color blades in there. Gyro air. Um, damn, this is pretty cool. Guess we'll uh, plug it in. It's now plugged in. Let's uh, do what anyone else would do here and start it out. We'll do a slow. Let it power on for a minute. And that is high. This has one of been my one of my favorite things about this fan is the grill rotating. I I friggin' love that feature. That's so
that is the Mistral Gyro Air box fan. It's uh, 16 inches wide, 17 inches tall. It is uh, made out of a uh, compacted type of styrofoam. So I guess it's a form of plastic, but it's actually very flammable plastic. And they actually, when they first made these, they opted, because of the recall started, they opted to have all of these destroyed. And this is very rare for me to find. This is one of the two I found on eBay, and I picked this one because it's cheaper. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, it's, this is awesome. Cannot believe I have this. I can't run it all the time for obvious reasons, but, you know. Mistral, baby. This thing's pretty sweet. Yep. So, yes, people may, may have thought it was the motor catching fire, but that is actually not true. It was the switch. The switch overheats, and the little receiver, little conductor inside there melts, and it ends up catching fire, and the whole switch diagram just sort of, then the whole fan. But they opted to have these destroyed, not, like, thrown out, but before they were thrown out, like, actually destroyed. Like, demolished, like, smashed up and broken, so no one would use them. Well... That ain't happening in my case, man. I ain't destroying this fan. This fan is fucking good as new as far as I'm concerned. And it's gonna definitely be in my possession for many, many years. And probably the rest of my life. So, yeah. Just gotta find a, find a spot to put it. And, yeah. This is the box that came in, as you know. But, uh, yeah, it literally just came, like... 15, 20 minutes ago, just got here, and, yeah, so I'm sure there'll be more videos on it, and if you enjoyed the video, I hope you subscribe, like, comment, do what you gotta do, and I 100% recommend one of these fans to you guys, because not only is it fairly durable from the friggin' 70s, but it's lasted this long and this is a very rare fan to find not destroyed and uh yeah and i apparently i i guess i do have the model that overheats i'm sure be well as it appears with the switch here something like that little speed controller but yeah but Alright guys, thanks for watching, and bye.